Hi there, Kim Bartlett here, helping you as a network marketer to bring your business online properly this time, to get that result you've been looking for for a long time. So today I will share with you about the topic of self-sabotage and how to avoid it with three steps to a solution. So, right, let, let's imagine, or perhaps you're already there, you're stuck, you're working on your business and it's not moving on, you're stuck. And I want to use the word stuck as a combined or summary um, word for feeling uh, irritated, sad, upset, angry and a sense of hopelessness. This is never going to work and all that stuff. So, the question I have for you first is, are you aware of what you're actually saying to yourself? I do this, but it's probably this is going around and around. So what are the, your thoughts? What are your thoughts telling you? What are you telling yourself? Blah, 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 going on there. Awareness is key. It's so key to anything that has to do with self-development, self-improvement and or growth, self-growth and all that. Awareness is absolutely, excuse me, my head, <laughs> is the first step. When you are aware of things, you are much more likely, or it's actually the only way to have a chance to change anything you want to change about yourself to move on in your business. So now, what your thoughts, what your thoughts are, so be aware of that. So I've got a little list here to um, share with you some of my thoughts when I get stuck, because I get stuck much more uh, in the past. But at the moment, I'm much more, uh, I can deal with it in a different way and quicker to so sort of nab it when it happens in the moment. So my thoughts could be things like, why is not my advert working? Why is everybody else's advert working? Or why have I got any more leads? Why does everybody else got so many more leads than I have? Um, it could be, and, and also about sales. Why haven't got any more sales? everybody else got so many more sales than I have and it's always like this I'm working hard as hard as I can and it's not working it's always like that it's not working for me this is not for me so and yeah so that is the some of the thoughts that I have that's holding me back in my business when I get stuck now so what I do which is a typical thing I do when this is happening when this happens, I go into Facebook and I look up the people I know who are successful. And I go into the Facebook page, uh, fan page, and I check out, uh, I look at the, the adverts when they pop up in my uh, timeline. And I look at the inspirational and motivational, um, what you call it, posts. And I think they're brilliant, they're beautiful, they look beautiful. And uh, yeah, so there we go. So I compare myself with people who are probably at least two years ahead of me. And in a way, this is disrespectful, I think, towards them. But of course, it's not. It's not. I'm not doing it to be disrespectful. But if you think about it, that they have put lots of time, energy, resources, and probably money into the business. And that's why they are where they are. So that's, that's not a good thing to compare and measure yourself. So uh, work on avoiding doing that is not helping anybody. If you're going to compare, compare with yourself. How have you done, what have you done in the past and what, where are you now? So now I'm going to come to the three, three steps to a solution. So the first one is because now you are stuck. So you're stuck in your mind and your emotion and also in your body. Not maybe so much like this, but everything is stuck. So the first thing you need to do is to get out of your head. So these thoughts or these blabs going on is to do physical movement. So it could be going out for a stroll, perhaps, or it could be, or it could be, it could be outside, it could be in the room, um, or you could raise your arms like this. So to go down a little bit so you can see. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> and wave, maybe wave, pretending there are people on the other side of the street somewhere and go hello hello so you're sort of shaking shaking it loose very good way to way to break this stuckness the emotional mental and physical stuckness yeah i do something personally that really works for me and that is i do a little bit of a body shake so i oh, i shake up shoulders oh, and you can't see it but that's okay you don't need to see it <sighs> shaking hands is good too 
as I showed you earlier. So, and of course, if there are people around, it might not be convenient to do this uh, shaky movement. So you can go maybe way to corner somewhere or maybe go to the bathroom or the toilet or the restrooms, I think you say in America. Over here in the UK, we, we, we say uh, to the loo. <laughs> to the loo, that's what we say. So that is the first step. So now you're getting more out of your head. The next one is to ask yourself better questions. So the why questions and the, what else is it we have why always and everybody else is a big sign huge sign that you are upset or anybody else for that for, for that matter if you're talking to someone or discussion when they say why are you always doing this why is it always like this and those kind of words <coughs> excuse me i get quite excited here so ask yourself better questions and the questions are what's working number two what's not working and number three what could I do differently and this is so you're more out of your head with those questions so look look at the facts so if you're on Facebook already doing adverts and all that building up your fan page look at the metrics what's working what's not working what could you do different next time and then you change it and you and you move on until you hit the next next stuckness and you do the same thing so and then of course actions so get into actions obviously you need to get into actions but not just actions they need to be consistent actions so those people i'm comparing myself to two years at least ahead of me what they do why they're successful they are consistent which i am practicing i'm quite consistent at the moment i've been for the last few weeks and it is moving the right direction they are consistent, consistent, consistent. They stick to what they say they're going to do. They check the metrics. They check what's working, what's not working, and and then they change it to something that so make it to make a difference. So there we go. So this is how you can avoid or maybe decrease self sabotaging when it happens. So I hope you enjoyed this, or rather that you learned something from this. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you here again in, uh, in two days on Friday. See you then. Bye bye. Take care. <laughs> and of course, I need to do this with my glasses on. Bye.